the sun comes up in the morning. Okay, tell me some amigos. Welcome to my channel. Please support your local food bank, Drug and Alcohol Center. So I'm a Christian outreach worker, if you know my channel. Just doing street welfare checks this morning. I always like to go by the play lounge and just checking on for syringes, crack pipes, and uh, that's what I do. All right, so, forgive me. For my longer time viewers, I try to put out two or three videos a week. Today is Thursday, I haven't done a video this week. I, I just, I've been too busy and um, I just wanted to say hi, I love you. And uh, I'm doing great. So this is, I'm doing my public YouTube welfare check to my viewers. <laughs> I'm doing great and uh, never been better. So I'm gonna continue my outreach. That's uh, your machete, eh? So, do you say Ryan's in in uh, detox or rehab? That's crazy. So that's quite the machete you got there. <laughs> so, this is obviously this is not. You don't like to use it. It's only for show. For there's a lot of violence, street truck violence right now. All right, so we're praying for you in my prayer group. You know. I've been walking these streets for five years and I've never seen anything like xylazine. Now, if you don't know what xylazine is, zombie drug, right? One second here. And it is just shocking to me how toxic this drug is because the damage it's doing. One of my friends, if you could pray for uh, Joseph, I was in contact with his support worker this morning. I have a, f I'm using my phone right now. Hello. <laughs> Anyways, um, he's worried he's gonna lose his leg. Another one of my friends, well actually quite a few of my friends, their legs are rotting off because it's a zombie drug, it's called xylazine. They're mixing it in. The drugs flow through Washington into Vancouver. I live on Vancouver Island, right? Anyways, um, the, the street drugs are so toxic. They're mixing it with benzos, which benzos are like Ativan or clonazepam. Oh boy. All right, I gotta shut this off. So, I'm on the straight, all right? So, I was thinking to myself, if you can, you know, God answers prayer. Another one is Angela. I found her, I actually rescued her a whole bunch of months ago, two or three months ago. I had to go hands-on overdose in the bushes by herself, big thing of heroin hanging out. Anyways, I was doing outreach yesterday with a group of uh, addicts that are friends of mine on the street. Anyways, um, <laughs> actually this morning, <laughs> a couple of them says, you know, Brother John, you fit in pretty good on the street, all right? <laughs> so yeah, I'm an ex-junkie myself, all right? And, uh, oh boy. Okay, I gotta shut this off. All right, so I set up. Thank you to the people that are supporting my outreach. Um, I love you. And uh, let's set this thing up. Look at this, this is crazy. <laughs> look at it. look at it. right there <laughs> I went swimming let's see I went swimming I was like man I left my shampoo at the swimming pool because I, I, I didn't have my shampoo I do I, I work out of the gym and go swimming there's my shampoo <laughs> I use it because my tripod's broken I gotta buy a new tripod one second in. hello so this is uh, see my my try. I was a winter time last year, and this thing broke. Whoa! This thing here broke. See, it's broken. Anyways, um, I mean, I sh I put my uh, I was it was in front of the tire shop. I put the, my tri boom, and I broke my tripod. And uh, so I, I live a very economic life. Muy economico en español. And in, sorry, that in Spanish, economical is cheap. <laughs> I live a very, muy economical, or how do you say it? It's, um, I don't know how, affordable. Or um, cheap is probably a better way of saying it. All right, something's going on here. Hello. So, um, like I reiterate, this is, hello, hello. <laughs> All right, so um, safe practices, staff infection. 
You know, it's interesting. I've been praying recently about bed bugs. I have been blessed. It's been a few years since I've had bed bugs. And if you don't know what bed bugs are, the homeless community living, when you're going down back alleys six days a week, they jump on you, right? They give like, you these little bumps, they bite you. But I, I've gone like two, three years, I haven't had them. When I get them doing outreach, my hands all swollen up. They're terrible. I, I just, I can't stand bed bugs, but praise the Lord. So if you want to pray for Brother John, so yo, soy pastor de la calle. You can pray that I don't get bed bugs. And, um, all right. Last thing, I haven't done a video in a while, so. Santa Bibila. That's my Spanish Bible. Right now, I am going to the post office to pick up my French, English, and Italiano. On, je ne parle, je ne parle John. Or je n'appelle uh, Frère, Frère, Frère Jean. Frère Jean. Je n'appelle Jean. Un petit peu. Enchanté. That's French. So I studied French in school uh, until they kicked me out for fighting and drugs, right? So I'm a graduate. I'm going to drop out. How you doing? I'm filming this way. Yeah, you can go. It's filming this way. That's right. Have a good day. See, I'm, I'm doing a podcast. I can talk into right, it. All right, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be an Italiano. Como si dice? Uh, you can say um, Italian. Very parecido in Espanol. It's very similar to Spanish. So you English speakers would have heard of gelato. That's ice cream. All right, gelato e lato. You say, um, buongiorno. <laughs> That's Italian. And there's a very similar language to the French language. I pick up Italian and Portuguese, a little bit of French. And um, I have greetings in a few languages as well. All right. Sermon on the Mount. It's my go-to. Matthew 5, 6, and 7. And uh, let's just go to Matthew 6. And then I got to go. Thank you for the people who are watching my ministry. Please, it encouraged me if you just click the like button. And what I understand is that if you click the like button, more people watch it or the, it gets shown to more people. And then if you comment on it, so if you leave me a comment, it encourages me Just say, how you doing brother John? Tell me where you're from. Do you speak a second language? What am I doing? Let's go to actually, you know what? We're in Philippians. So Philippians 312, the apostle Paul said, let's do a Philippians 312. It says, not that I have obtained everything, or have been made perfect, but I press on to take hold of Christ Jesus, who took hold of me. Then we have Philippians 4. We'll go to 12. Actually, you know what? Let's just go to 10. And then I get to go pick up my, my French and my Italiano, mi Bibila. And then my what my plan is, is that I'm going to start doing uh, shorts, Romanos 823. That's Spanish for Romans 823. I just did that video. But I want to do one in French in Romans 823. I want to do one in Italian, Romans 823. And just one minute shorts, uh, put on my website. All right. Lord willing, guten tag. Auf Wiedersehen. Opa and Oma. Dankeschön, bitteschön. Who knows, maybe I'll even do one in, in uh, German. All right, Romans 10. I rejoice in the Lord greatly now that we are at length you have received your concern for me. You are indeed concerned for me, but you have no opportunity. Not that I am speaking in need, for I have learned. Here it is here. Praise the Lord. Listen to this. This is Apostle Paul. Regarded in the book of Philippians as a book of joy. He's shackled inside a prison, right? It says here, Not that I have been speaking in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I'm in to be content all right Timothy says that imagining that godliness is a means to gains but godliness with contentment is of great gain for we brought nothing into the world we can bring nothing out for if we have food and clothing all right praise the Lord this is saying here I have learned in every or whatever situation I've I'm in to be content. I know what it's, I know how it's to be brought low and I know how to abound in every and every circumstance. Praise the Lord. I'm still working on that one, right? 
I think we all are. Remember, the Apostle Paul even said in Philippians 3.12, I quoted that, that he hadn't attained everything, but he had, not that I've obtained everything but or have been made perfect, but I press on to take hold of Christ Jesus, who took hold of me. Great Bible verse to memorize. Why am I in Colossians? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I missed it. Colossians 3.23 is a great Bible verse to memorize, too. Colossians? It's, um, oh, sorry, we're in Philippians. Colossians 3.23, I'm learning the piano. Today was day one on my piano learning. And um, Colossians 3.23 says, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as if working for God and not for man. And uh, I'm going to be diligent in my um, piano playing. Galatians, Ephesians. Oh, sorry, we're in Philippians. Forgive me. It's been a long day. It's been a good day of outreach. But um, here it is. Philippians. Please keep my friends in prayer. The Lord knows. So you're watching my ministry. The perfect prayer is, Father, we pray for the people that Brother John is talking about and ministering to. And grant me wisdom, strength, and endurance in the proper way to administer the life-saving power of the gospel through the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord. And um, ministering to their physical needs. You know, clothing. I'm buying gloves. Uh, winter's coming soon. And uh, I'm carrying some gloves to give out right now. It's cold this morning. Tarps. First aid. All right. Sorry, let's just finish this off. I'm all over the place. I know what it's like to be brought low. I know what it's... I know how it is to abound in any and every circumstance. I have learned the secret of facing plenty and in hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Praise the Lord. Yet it was kind of you to share my trouble and you Philippians yourself know that in the beginning of the gospel when I left, left Mesopotamia no church entered into partnership with me in giving and receiving except you only praise the Lord it's uh, not that I seek the gift but I seek the fruit that increases to your credit I have received full payment and more I am well supplied having received from oh boy, eper deeter deeter, eper epat eper road deeter ders. All right, the gifts you sent a fragrant offering, a sacrifice acceptable and pleasing to God, and my God, here it is, praise the Lord, and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. To our God, the Father, be glory forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you for watching. And um, it's an interesting video. I, I have a lot of things going on in my background right now. My thoughts. It's heartbreaking for me. Many days. Today was a heartbreaking day because of the xylazine. They're so infected. They're so infected and... They're rotting. They're rotting. I talked to a doctor. I do outreach in the hospitals. I was talking to a doctor about the xylazine that we have here in my area. And he's like, yeah, we're going to have to start amputating limbs, fingers. You know, it's, it's a, we're in a crisis right now. And, um, you know, but there's always hope in Christ Jesus. I believe that uh, we are, you know, the Lord sh has shown me some of the fruit of... Uh, repentance in the that many people like for an example my friend Leanne did outreach with her for over a year in the park severe arthritis she's got housing <laughs> praise the Lord so excited to hear about that all right Tim is in treatment I'm going to see him next week he's in his third week clean and sober Andrew just got out of detox so people are getting better this morning non-stop preaching the gospel and encouraging people to get into treatment. In fact, my friend Mike said that God is faithful. He comes from a really good Christian background, broke his back. We're praying for his mom. You can pray a prayer. She has leukemia. And I love these people very much on the street. It's like one family. 
And I pour all, all that I have into them, praying for them. Angela as well, if you can join me in prayer for Angela and uh, her open Oma. Her open Oma, I talked to her um, yesterday, was it yesterday? And um, she's a special lady, young girl. And, um, you know, the, thank the Lord for the prayers of the grandmas and the grandpas. The open Oma, she went to a four square church. And she said, took her out for lunch. I rescued her in the park. She was overdosed. And um, I went hands on, shook her. I said, young lady, you're coming with me. I'm not leaving you in the wilderness, obviously. Walked her all the way down to Tim Hortons. I bought her a sweater. She went to a resource center that night. And um, she was cold. So I bought her a, a, a hoodie and some clean socks, fed her, and ministered, prayed with her. And she opened up, she talked about her open Oma, and then she went to a four square church and she had, was encountered by the presence of the Holy Spirit. And, um, you know, I just yesterday I looked down, I hadn't seen her for months. I said, I said Angela, I said, I've been praying for you, you know, and um, my viewers are praying for you. And I have a lot of hope for that young lady. She can get off drugs. And the hope I have in all of them is Christ Jesus our King. That God loves that young lady. God loves Mike, Andrew, all right, Joseph. God loves these people. And he loves you. And uh, he loves me. <laughs> We're one family. All right, have a great day. I'm, just so you everybody knows, I'm taking a bit of break off of uh, YouTube and my videos. I'm posting shorts. I'm going to post shorts. It's easy for me. But I'm focusing on my piano playing, yes. My piano playing, and um, I'm gonna be practicing my piano and doing shorts. And um, you know, if there's a, these Mickey Mouse false prophets, they come on the line. If I see something, I'll do an exposed video, but I'm not looking for it right now. And uh, it always just seems to fall into my lap. And when that happens, I'll do an exposed video. But just so everybody's aware that's watching this, they're my friends, I'm doing great. And I'm taking a bit of a break from making videos to play piano. <laughs> so may the Lord bless you, keep you strong in the faith, and always remember, Brother John loves you. Bye.